Building a XAML or WinForms app traditionally required you to write a lot of boilerplate code, especially for data binding. PostSharp MVVM almost completely eliminates this frustration and gives you back your time for something more meaningful. Here is a simple contact editor. If you modify the street number for an address, you can see that the change is not propagated to the list. This is because the classes don't implement the I notify property changed interface yet. Let's look at the code. There are only two model classes, customer and address. The address class has a computed property named full address, which contains all other properties. The view model class has an even more complex computed property, label content. It depends on a property of a property of a property. Because of these recursive dependencies on child objects, implementing I notify property changed manually would be extremely cumbersome. Let's see how this can be done with PostSharp. Go to the model base class and open the refactoring menu. Select implement I notify property changed. The first time you run this wizard may take a little longer as PostSharp will install a few packages into your project. The only other change in your code will be a new custom attribute on the top of the class. Go to the Customer View Model class and do the same. Done! Now run the application again. Changes in address details are now immediately visible in the list. However, the label preview control does not work yet. Let's look at that. To bind a control property to dynamic data, the XAML doc says you have to make it a dependency property. Let's do it. Open the refactoring menu for the text property, select Add Another Aspect, and then choose Make a XAML Dependency Property. This only adds a custom attribute to your code. You can do it manually the next time if you prefer. Now go to the XAML code of the main window and add a data binding to the text property. Let's see if that worked. Great! The next step is to implement the code behind the set principal address button. XAML has a nice pattern for this, command binding. Go back to the main window class and code the behavior as a normal method. Now open the refactoring menu and choose Expose as a XAML command with can execute. Provide an implementation for the can execute property. Note that the wizard has added the notify property changed aspect to this class and a new public property to expose the command. Now go to the XAML code and bind the button to the new command property. We're done! The button now does what it's meant to do and it is dynamically disabled or enabled as it should be. Finally, let's add some validation to this form. We want the town field to be a required one. Go to the town property in the address model class. Open the refactoring menu and choose require a non-empty value. This is just one of the many contracts you can add to your fields, properties, or parameters. Run the app a last time. You can see that town is now a required field. Thank you for watching this demo. In just a few minutes, thanks to PostSharp, you have implemented I notify property changed for simple and complex properties, turned a regular C sharp property into a XAML dependency property, added a command with dynamic state notification, and added validation to your model. But most importantly, you avoided a lot of boilerplate and kept your business code crystal clear.